learning on the move, it is a, a very family friendly way of getting our students, uh, getting our children, your children, engaged uh, even when they are on holidays. It can be fun, meaningful, and authentic because you will get your children to be very involved in the planning, in experiencing the holidays, and also after the trip when they come back, learning still continues. So we hope to enthuse all of you parents here as you begin to think of your next holiday trip, maybe a short holiday trip over the Easter weekend. And as Hui Ming has mentioned, there are some hands-on activities that we hope you'll enjoy and you can take back with you as you plan for your trip. So as we go on trips, we normally want to look at the itinerary. So this is our itinerary for this afternoon. We will explain to you the thinking behind this session when the four of us started planning. And uh, we will offer you a proposition, what we call our VSK model. And this VSK stands for values, skills, and knowledge. And we will also have two hands-on activities based primarily on two discipline areas, maths and geography, because we are master teachers in geography and maths. So these are, are our expertise area. And uh, we also have a list of suggested post-trip activities. We wish we could do it with you, but time doesn't permit that. So we'll just give you a list of them, and hopefully you can try them with your kids. And of course, there is opportunity for you to raise questions, and uh, you also need to do the evaluation at the end of the session. So the thinking, it is very important. Whatever we do, we need to formulate and conceptualize the thinking. So, when you take children on holidays, it doesn't mean books and study kept in the cold storage. Because you can embed lots of learning as you go on your trips. And uh, so what exactly can they learn on the move? So this is our proposition, the values, skills, and the knowledge, a lot of it. So let's talk about the values. The acquisition of values. You probably think, uh, going on trips, why must you think of values? But I think there's a lot going if you do your planning properly. This is a good time for relationship building. It's not that you organize everything, you plan everything, and then you tell the children, get ready, we are going. But if you involve them in the planning, the value of parent-child bonding, relationship building, respecting each other's uh, viewpoints. If they're very young kids, probably they don't have much viewpoints, but if they're teenagers, they would have lots of viewpoints. So that's uh, another aspect to planning together. Children will also learn to be re very resourceful. You don't do everything for them. You tell them, check it out. You can Google it. Nowadays, it's so easy. Yeah? Google and the whole world is at your fingertips. So they can Google it. And uh, they also begin to value the importance of money. You can't go on a holiday trip if you don't have money. And we don't have unlimited money. We always have limited resources. So it is good that the children get into the hang of knowing the value of money and making decisions. And also, when children go onto the net or pick up a phone call, or uh, rather make a phone call or get to find out more information from other adults, they are actually building their confidence, all right, and courage. And very importantly, children get to lead. Children get to lead you in the planning, and parents also have the opportunities to learn from your kids. Don't think that the kids don't know anything. They know sometimes a lot more than us. So th these are the values that we can inculcate or that are inherent if parents and children come together to do the planning for this wonderful holiday trip. So besides the values, now the skills, the explicit skills. Teamwork is of paramount importance. 
because you're involving the children. Even if you've got only one kid, your child and you, the couple, is a threesome. So it is still a team. Or your kid and the other siblings, or if, you, if you're going with your relatives, maybe among the cousins, okay? So there is teamwork in the planning. They need to solve problems inevitably, making choices and sometimes making wise decisions because it involves money, it involves time, and these are very scarce commodities, time and money. They also need to make proposals and say, we would like to go here. And they need to justify why they want to go there. Why can't they go here? Why must they choose to stay in this hotel? Things like that. And of course, budgeting. With their scarce resource of money, they need to learn simple budgeting. And uh, very important for the learner is research skills. As we mentioned, the internet is at your hands, so they can get to do a lot of research skills. So learning happens now in a very authentic situation. And parents have the opportunities also to discover, together with the child, discover new things, co-create knowledge, because sometimes we don't know everything. Our children can tell us, and very important to have fun, all right? Fun even before you start the journey. Fun in the planning, fun in the teamwork. So we, after the values, the skills, now the knowledge. This is the explicit disciplinary knowledge. And uh, we chose mathematics and geography because we felt, the four of us felt that when you do vacation, when you have a vacation or when you go on trips, these are the two subject areas that are of paramount importance. And Mathematics, because there's so much calculation. Uh, calculation right from the start, choosing a, an, an airline, the fares, your travel package. Sometimes you need to go somewhere. The admission fees you must also take into consideration. The daily meal allowances, your car rentals, your accommodation, and uh, very important, conversion of currency because children really need to know that. And for geography, where the two of us, Sauda and I, we are the geography people, so we thought there's so much to learn in geography, particularly in physical geography and human geography, but we don't have time to cover all that. We thought these are the three very important aspects of the explicit knowledge of geography when you travel. And uh, one would be, of course, climatic conditions and seasonal changes. If they go to Australia in December, it is what season? <coughs> Summer. But if they go to June, ah, sorry, if they go to London in December, it is winter. And if they were to ask you, how is it like that? How are you going to answer them? Later, Sauda will explain to you a little. So they need to know that climatic conditions and the seasonal changes. That's one aspect. The other aspect is the geographical time zones. We know it is very easy. I've got my iPhone. My daughter is right now in New York. I want to know what time because I wanted her to buy for me a book. So I look at the, look into my iPhone. It's one, nearly 1 a.m. I better don't call her, all right? So your kids will then learn that across the world, at a global scale, there are different time zones. But how exactly did it happen? Do you know? Do they know? So this is one opportunity to start learning. So the, the time zones. And then, of course, the last one is something that we are very familiar with. The travel agent tells us, you're going here, you're going there, you're going here. We all know. And then we happily go like a herd of, uh, sorry to say, like a herd of cattle. Eh? We go, they tell you, 15 minutes here. Okay. So when you plan with your kids, although you may have a travel package, but it is good to ask them, where exactly would you want to go? What exactly would you be able to see? And uh, as adults and the children planning together, it'll be best if you go on a free and easy, then you can configure your traveling, you can configure the places that you want to go. And uh, don't only go to the tourist sites, all right? 
pick a variety of things. If, they, if they're interested in liberal arts, for, for example, the secondary school kids, if you go to London, take them to a play. Definitely the experience is very different. Or if they go to Australia, they do geography in school, take them to see the pinnacles, which is a very unique rock formation. And as parents, if you are not geography people, you don't know, they can go into the internet to look up all this information. So that's one preparation for them. So these are some of the things that we will cover. So uh, we will do a little bit more before the next speaker comes on. Over and above all that planning, I think as parents you need to teach a little bit of vocabulary. Things that we, we know, they may not know, especially the younger kids. Currency, conversion, packs. They'll tell you what, what is packs? All right, one per pack, two, five dollars per pack. What does it mean? That is an opportunity to teach them as well. Daily, weekly, rate, twin, twin bed, all right, twin bedded room, things like that. A round trip. Uh, are these two? My colleague will speak a little bit further. Revolution of the Earth round the Sun, and rotation of the Earth once. And the Earth doesn't do rotation only. The Earth doesn't do revolution only. The Earth does rotation and revolution. So that is what causes, that is what caused the seasonal change. So these are all things that our kids can learn. All right, so that is uh, the scope of what we are going to do.